Hi everyone, this is COCC eLearning. Today we're going to be demonstrating what it looks like for a student to join and interact with a meeting if they're joining you through a mobile device. So what we're actually looking at here is me joining my meeting through my phone. And as you can see, I've opted to just enter in the meeting ID, which is a nine to 11 digit code, which are also the ending numbers of the URL, which is part of the link that you may have in your Canvas course or which was sent to you through an email message. So students can either watch the meeting by clicking on the link if they have the app installed, or they can enter the ID as I've done here. I opted not to join the audio on my phone because I was also recording this in my office through my computer at the same time as the host, which is why you see me twice. But you can see my video feed is on and I can see myself in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So I'm just going to flip through a couple of things that you'll see. Students will be able to share items on their phone just as you can share items on your desktop. There are several options. They can share their screen, they can share their photos. Here's a photo of my cat. <laughs> they have options to use the annotation tools so I can mark things up on the screen as well. So if you were sharing something on your screen, your students would still be able to use the basic standard annotation tools and things of that nature if you'd enabled those in your meeting. If I stop sharing, it takes me back to the general area. I can share website URLs. I can also link to documents within external accounts like a Google account or a Dropbox, things like that. I can chat, same thing. If I pull up the chat features, it works basically like texting. In this case, if you're waiting here, I'm typing on my physical keyboard in my office and let's see, here I am. So yeah, chats pop up just like a chat. And now you can see I flipped the phone around so you can see me. I turned my video feed off and now I'm just a name or this little blog person. You can raise your hand, you can add emojis. Let's see, here I am turning my sharing back on and that's kind of it. Interacting with a Zoom meeting on a mobile device is pretty straightforward. The biggest hurdle for your students is going to be making sure that they have the app downloaded on their device already. Having it there before they need it to join a meeting makes joining that meeting much easier. And they can either join by a link, a link that's included in your Canvas course or in an email or through that nine to 11 digit code, which represents a specific meeting space. Hope that helps.